Um, at this time, we'd like to um, go back to Bobby Lopez, where he will be discussing other business um, by Okay, in closing, um, we have launched what we call our Youth Arm, to be known as the Belize Progressive Youth Initiative, BPYI, um, or just short, BPYI. Um, and so, in the coming weeks, we'll see the, 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 this body starting to really take off and we are putting our full support resources and everything we can into that because they are the future leaders and they must take charge we call them the post-independent generation those 18 to 35 who have been disenfranchised who are well educated who can't find jobs and so um, we are very pleased that that is now up and running and um, and it's getting the full support by the executive um, that it needs. Also, uh, we'd like to announce our full support for our activist arm, the BTV, um, in the upcoming Belize Echo Sarstoon Challenge that's going to be held on the 17th of September 2016, of which we ourselves will be participating and uh, are calling on all Belizeans to come down and let us once more show the world that the Sar Stone Island is ours, will remain ours, and likewise the Sar Stone, the portion of the Sar Stone River that belongs to Belize, needs to continue to be claimed. And so the BPP and the BTB are making that initiative to make sure that this stays in the forefront and that no one can ever say that they have the sovereignty over that area. No, Belize must uh, assert that sovereignty. And so we, um, we're supporting those very two important issues at the BPP. And lastly, I guess you can see we've made some more improvements on our headquarters. Uh, our office is open. We're hoping it's basically a soft opening right now. But officially, um, I believe the first week of September, we haven't set the exact date. We will be having an official opening, putting an official name to the, end, the, the establishment here. And uh, we've been discussing whether we'll put that up to the public the way we had put up our party name. And more than likely, that's what we'll be doing. Um, Freedom House, Equality House, whatever house we want to call it, home. It used to be home of the commoners. It was once home of the weed people. It was once home of the vision inspired by the people. And now it's the home of the Belize Progressive Party. So certainly, quite a few entities have made this place, this location, their home. And so it has a lot of uh, history behind it, and we feel it deserves a name, a name that truly represents what it means and what the BPP is all about. So that's going to be coming up in September. And last but not least, uh, October 1st is our first anniversary. October 1st, 2015, the BPP was birthed. And as we near our October 1st, sure, we've had some challenges along the way. We've had some ups and downs, but we remain committed we remain committed, not for the short term, for the long term. And along the way, we're going to have those who fall by the wayside, who are not committed for the long term, who don't understand team dynamics, organizational dynamics. And unfortunately, this is the way they go. All parties, all organizations suffer that. But the DPP, I want to say, is here to stay. 18 years ago, I got up to support my dad in 1998 when he ran the PDP in Belmopan, and I've never turned back. I've never turned back. Likewise, Patrick ran independent, Paco ran independent, and we know that the problem cannot be solved by the same consciousness that created it. The problems of this country were created by the PUDP system, and the PUDP system can never solve it. Only the DPP and the people of Belize can lead this country into a new era, and we're prepared to take that helm and go with it. Thank you very much for being here.